noise in the weather. You can see the rain, it's moving this way. Nice bit of blue sky there, you can see the rain. Looking at them clouds. Looks like we're going to get wet in a minute. Hopefully it might just miss us. But when the sun's out, it's lovely. We might be lucky. We're just on the edge of the clouds, so hopefully we will be lucky. Evie. This is where Evie likes coming fishing because all she does is sleep. <laughs> Chelsea. Still no one else fishing apart from us and them up there. It's either a good thing or a bad thing. Here we are. Um, we're out again. This is Barnes Point, or Barnes Point, stitchy up that way. Um, at the moment, there's me and a few others up that way, completely empty that way. Quite a strong wind coming over the top, so we've come here because it's quite sheltered. Um, hopefully, uh, we'll have a few fish. Conditions look perfect, really, to be honest. Um, what? Water's perfectly calm. Ideal for it, really. Cut the showers this one over, as you can see in the distance. There's a lot more fishermen turning up now. It's about two and a half hours before high water at the moment. I'm using a leader FS Sport, 14 foot, and Shimano Ultegra 10,000. Chelsea's using a Tronics Pro Apex TT and a Pin Affinity 7000. Let's so wait for the uh, rubber pier. Still here, so I throw a rope. Um, what I've been doing while I've been pre baiting up. Seagull like baiting tool, just put handy little things. I'll cut up some chunks of bluey, slide one chunk of bluey on one of the barbs, and I've got some squid. I'll slide the squid down on the other end of the barb, like that. The bait elastic. Round the two baits together, make like a nice sausage. Lots of juices, lots of fluids, lots of scent going into the water. Obviously, the more scent you can have, the better. Just remember to do, not do your baits too big. I find if you go too big, it cuts it in your distance when you're casting, depending on where you're fishing, really. But well, some areas you need a bit of distance for the rays. Nice bit of bait elastic. A squid's head on the end, and just pull the squid's head off. On your baiting tool, slide that straight off. Got two here, one there, one there. Lots of scent, lots of juices. As soon as you can get one in, I've got a double pattern as well, so we have another rig ready. So I've got fresh baits straight out. Keep bait in the water. Obviously, the more time you've got scent in the water, the more chance you've got of catching a fish. That's the plan, anyway. We're having to change baits quite quick. The crab activity is quite mad out there at the moment. I don't know whether it's 
surprised we're near enough. Someone coming in. Oh, yeah, and it's still got bait on it, which is a good sign. The first cast we've caught in is just strict, so... Here's a good sign, there's still a bit of bait there. There we go. Hopefully that's a lucky sign. A lucky rainbow. Another fella's just up there, just had one. It's about five, six pounds. An hour away from my tide, we've had a bit of thunder, a bit of rain, but not too bad. Hopefully, uh, we'll have a few. Here we are, this is lays down now. This is second session. That's me, Chelsea. I believe he's asleep in the bed. A few hours, Michael West is up there, Steve's up there. Steve's already had a bass. A little bit cold. A whole squid bait out there at the moment, on well, up and over. Been hard just recently, I think I'll be happy with a dogfish. Not a good point to try it. It's just that funny time of year, it's starting to change. It's a few bass showing now, quite a few rays coming out. The hounds are starting to show up the cold as well, so I'll be on them soon. So hopefully I'll have a video with some fish in it for a change. <laughs> it just seems to be me trying to catch fish. But hopefully it will change. I'm not going to give up. <laughs> 